JTEC, driving futures forward. Hey guys, I'm Robert Vachnik with Jones Technical Institute here in Jacksonville, Florida. Today I'm going to show you how to use a common MIG welder in order to remove a broken bolt out of an engine block or exhaust manifold or something like that. In this case, we're going to be using an engine block and as you can see right here, we have a bolt that's busted off for the motor mount. Now before we prep the block and get it ready to build, we're going to go ahead and remove the broken bolt and uh, make sure that the threads and everything look okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take and grind the bolt smooth. After we do that, we're going to take a flat washer, weld it up over top of it, and then we're going to weld a nut on top of the flat washer. And in doing that, that's going to allow us to put a wrench or a socket on top of it and uh, screw it right out of there. With any luck, it'll come out the first time. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to put on our face shield, use our grinder, and grind it smooth. All right, guys, here we go. I've got my face shield on. I've got the grinder set, and we're going to go ahead and put our gloves on and grind that bolt nice and smooth. You want to make sure you wear a decent quality glove. What you don't want to do is wind up getting your hand, uh, even just tapping it on that grinding wheel can, can uh, give you a pretty good laceration. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you're working safely. So here we go. Alright, that looks good. You gotta make sure you got a nice clean surface because when you go to weld the washer onto the head of the bolt, any rust or oxidation will cause the weld to pop a whole lot and then you will not be able to get a, a, a nice clean weld. Uh, and if you do not get a good clean weld, well the chances are that the washer and the nut are just gonna spin right off of the right off of the bolt and not come out of there. So um, we now that we've got that cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and switch over and get prepared to uh, weld the washer to the nut. All right guys, so here, here's what we got. We've got a flat washer that we're getting ready to weld onto the engine block. You want to make sure that you're wear, wearing your welding gloves. Your welding gloves will stop you from getting burnt. It does get a little hot. After all, it is going to melt the metal. What we're going to do is take this flat washer and place it over top of the broken bolt. You can't just hold that with your fingers. So we're going to go ahead and use something like this screwdriver. We'll hold it, put the screwdriver on top of the washer, hold it still. So we're going to go ahead and turn the welder on. It's already been set up. Center the washer the best that you can over top of the hole because you need to make sure that you're not going to weld the block. That's the last thing you want to do is weld the item you're trying to get the bolt out of. So we're going to go ahead and grab our welder. Here we go. looks pretty good. I think we'll go with that. Next thing we're going to do is take our nut, place it over top the same spot, as close to it as possible. Now hold it down with the screwdriver. Grab our welder and we're actually going to tack it on the side first. Now that we've got it tacked, we can move out of the way with the screwdriver and we're going to fill the center up and try to bite really good down on the bolt weld, the first weld that we did, and work our way up into the nut. As we do that, that's going to do what's called a shrink weld that's going to draw the bolt up, pull it away from the surface that it is broke, 
or stuck to, broke off into, and we should be able to use a wrench or a ratchet and, and easily screw it out of there. Easily is a loose term. Sometimes this takes more than one try. So here we go. One more tack weld on the side, and now we're going to begin to fill the center. As you can see, it's biting into that bolt pretty good. We've got a good weld in the center, so now we'll start going around in circles. And we're going to get it welded into the nut really good. Now you know why we wear a good pair of gloves. Look how hot that is. Alright, next we're going to grab our wrench and we're going to try and turn it out of there. Alright, now remember that's still going to be hot so you want to make sure that we've got some sort of uh, hand protection on. And let me tell you, even these gloves you'd feel it pretty quick so you don't want to grab a hold of that. But you also don't want to try and cool it down because if you cool it down you could actually change the properties of the steel and cause it to get locked back into that hole. So we're going to take the wrench, we're going to put it on top of there. There you go, look at there. Turns out pretty easy. A little stiff in a section, but it's turning out pretty good. So let's see what we got. I think we'll use this glove to catch it. Let's see what we got. And you can see that's pretty hot still, so oh yeah. Alright, look at there. You can see how clean that came out. No problems, right? Let's get a look at the threads inside the block. They look to be really nice and clean as well. All right, so it looks like we've got that broken bolt out. And all we did was use a welder to weld a nut and washer to the bolt. And remember in doing that, that shrunk the bolt allowed it to break loose from the surface that it was in and we never had to heat up that cast iron because if you heat up cast iron it can easily crack on you so you need to be really careful anytime you're doing something like that. This technique works really well using the engine block and it works very well using an exhaust manifold as well so um, thank you for watching my video and hope to see you again soon.